I try to live a life that is true to myself. I, and as I was mentioning before, I try to see people for who they are and I accept them for who they are. You know, it's not about um, being of a certain class, a certain look or race, anything, your background, we are who we are in this present day and time. Mm. Um, sometimes people click with you, sometimes people don't. Um, I'm always- hey. So I start rapping on conscience, did the shit with no sponsors. I put in work, I put in work in a Hyundai, dropping that bitch on a Sunday. I put in work, import a beat out of Sweden, killing it bit for no reason. I put in work, I put in work, I put in work, I put in work, I put in work. Okay, what's going on, Sheed? Um, thanks for thanks for joining me today. All right. Um, wanted to start off just asking you to introduce yourself, introduce uh, and tell us a little bit about you and what you do. All right, sounds good. Um, hello, I go by Sheed. I am one of the group fitness instructors out at um, Lifetime Centerville. Um, been out there about seven years, approaching eight come October. I um, teach about seven classes a week. Uh, I touch on yoga, a little bit of strength training, a little bit of aerobic, um, hit classes, as well as a combination of a few. So. I'm pretty much out there a lot. Um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so about seven years, what what got you initially into uh, fitness? Um, so I think when I moved here, I moved here in around 2005. Growing up, I wasn't, really into fitness I did stuff um in terms of like occasional tag football kind of thing with friends down the street that was my younger years and okay. um as I've grown up I think I ran track in high school and that was one I wouldn't say a full season but part season there because I got a job and I was like okay I'm done with this <laughs> and then <laughs> After that, um, when I got into college, I used to start running a lot because I wasn't doing anything at all. Um, and then when I moved up here, I started going to Gold's Gym and I was going there by myself and it wasn't anything that really brought me to the gym. Like I just, I felt like I needed to do something. I, I am pretty much a couch potato, love to play video games, watching movies and just, doing absolutely nothing there's the yeah. best day ever <laughs> um but i just started going to the goals and i noticed i would go there after work and not really get into um working out at all like i just wasn't motivated um i moved to texas for about a year and again i used to run on my own kind of thing and then when i came back i actually started at lifetime and while i was there i had a personal trainer um she was really cool she just started off um heather and uh, we worked out for a little bit, not too long. I probably would say maybe three months or so. And okay. it was like, at that time, like she was coming in new. I was, the gym itself was expensive. Like I just came back and her rates were starting to go up and I was like, okay, I need to find something else. <laughs> and, after that. It gets a little pricey. <laughs> right. So I was like, uh, yeah. I just like to, you know, get my act together, but I'm not there yet. Like, yeah. Investing all that money. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. And then, right. I, and then I, um, I ended up meeting Vince, and he had a boot camp class, and I was like, okay, maybe I can do this boot camp thing. So he met boot camp on Monday and Wednesdays, he had a no limit cardio class on Fridays, and then he taught cycling class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I was like, oh, well, I got it made. Like I got him five days a week and I don't have to pay for two classes. So mm -hmm. I can work with that, you know? Yeah. So during that time being part of a group, that group really pushed me a lot. And I just love the community of working together, motivating days you want to sleep in. You got somebody calling you, getting you out of the bed, come on, push through. You know, you have somebody to help you make it that last mile on a run and push that one more rep out and stuff like that. And just the camaraderie of being together and mm -hmm. in that environment just inspired me to keep going and keep going to the point where 
here I am today. Okay. You know, so that's where it, it really started with that group. And I will forever be grateful for each one of them. I still talk to most of them um, that are in the area and stuff like that. But yeah. and we all pretty much still have that, still work out. And it's great. Like they were all older than I am. And it's just amazing to see people like that at that age, you know, still physically fit enough to do so much stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up, I'm originally from Alabama. And there, I guess coming here, you can really see the value of how people say age is just a number because okay. it all depends on how you live your life and the lifestyle that you live. And to see the people um, at home compared to the people I see here, it, it's so night and day. Okay. And a lot of it has to do with the level of fitness that you give to your body and how you treat your body, how you eat and just live, period. So, okay. yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so what, what then pushed you to go from being a participant in those classes to wanting to dish out to torture yourself <laughs> so uh i wouldn't necessarily say torture challenges the inspiration i've taken i've <laughs> taken one of your <laughs> yoga classes i haven't even taken one of your, one of your actual strength classes <laughs> i almost died twice you know what i mean <laughs> and that was just that, that, was, that was just flow right so i can't yeah so like i said what what, what made what made you decide to uh to want to start uh so i um so during the time um over years i i can't remember exactly how long i was part of Vince's crew but it just got to a point where every life happens and the group sort of kind of split in a sense, like um, it was just getting, he was getting tired of teaching the class. Um, it wasn't a class that was being promoted. So we didn't get many new people that time slot because they were trying to, uh, during that time, Lifetime wanted all group classes to start at a certain time. And if it wasn't that time, we used to start at five o'clock and I think all group fitness classes, not group fitness, but small group training classes started at six. And so it was a lot of times that Vince got left out. He wasn't one that was like out on the floor bringing people into the group. So it was just, it was different being that he did group fitness and mm -hmm. then the personal training aspect, the small group okay. training. So he was just, he was the first because they got many of us doing it now. Um, and so during that time, it was just, it was getting stale and I, I felt like I wanted something more. And I ended up going to, um get which one did I do first? Uh I'm trying to remember. I think I went to school at NPTI, that's the uh, National Professional Training, Personal Training Institute. Yeah. So I went there and I always wanted to know how to, you know, properly lift weights and stuff. Cause like in, in the small group training again, he was more so group fitness. And there we know movements, we know alignment and how you should do X, Y, Z, but we don't know. Well, I won't say we don't know, but I wasn't taught the the, the principles behind it. Okay. And so just from a knowledge standpoint, like I wanted to understand why do we squat and bench and like, why are these the, the squat bench deadlifts? Why are they so important to your normal day style you know and one of the things that when i got into those classes um one of the things that the coach said we always call him coach <laughs> but one of the things that he said was we always work out for a better way of life you know for one thing in life you can always count on having to sit down and get up with okay. squat you're always going to count on having to pick something up there is something you're going to have to pick up off the floor we deadlift you know having proper form for that and if you fall down some kind of way, you got to push yourself up. <laughs> we I like that. Yeah. You know, like so that. It's, it's that kind of thing that you, you don't think about until you're in that situation. And, and like I say, comparing people at home to those that I see today here, 
it's like they can barely walk, they can barely get up. And it's, it's just stuff, stuff like that, that just, you always have in the back of your mind. And it's like, how do you, how do you want your life to be in the next 10, 15, 20 years, however long you're on this earth? How do you want to live your life? And if I can be as physically fit as I can just to do the simple things of life, I'm shooting for it. Mm-hmm. So that's what I got out of MBTI and I just enjoyed it. Um, and then as I came out, um, Vince was asking me, he was ready to give up his Thursday classes. So again, he taught five days a week and Thursday mornings was just one of the mornings. He was like, I'm teaching cycle three because he taught cycle on Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays. And he was like, yeah, you want Thursday class? And I was like, okay. <laughs> so um, I ended up talking to Stephanie at the time and told her I got done with that and I got my personal training certification, but she was like, you had to have um, a cycle cert to teach the cycling classes. So not only did you have your group fitness um, personal training, you had actually had to have cycle for the cycle studio. So I went and that was just a one day, eight hour kind of course, you go in take the test, you're done. So I got that in no time. And then I started teaching cycle. And so that was very interesting. I, I, it, it's sort of kind of like, it was yesterday that I taught my very first class and I was on stage with Vince. And of course, you know him, like rock star that he is. That's very intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, to come behind somebody like that, so popular, so loved and just you know, um, inspiring himself. And then here I'm a newbie taking over one of his classes. And thankfully enough, I think what really helped the people welcome me as much as they did is because I was one of them, so to yeah. speak. You know, like I wrote by them and stuff like that. So they were willing enough to give me a chance. And in that time, I remember I was on stage. I was so nervous put the mic phone, test, test, all loud, trying to adjust the volume. Then I was like, okay, let me get the music on, press it, blast it out the studio. <laughs> that didn't help. <laughs> so I was okay. just like, oh my God. <laughs> and all I wanted to do, and, and the, my very first one, of course, all I only did half. It was just like, we want you to fill it out and stuff. And, um, and so that's what I did. And I forgot about my interview. Um, cause we had to audition for the position too. Mm-hmm. So coming in for the audition, it was Nicole. Um, she was the group fitness manager at the time and she just, it was a lot going on in her life during that time. And, um, I think I was probably one of the first ones, probably the first and last person she auditioned during that time period <laughs> to come in. But I remember I came in, of course, with all this book knowledge of, um, going through the cycle certification course. And she said, right after the audition, she said, number one, I'm going to need you to dumb it down. Like, <laughs> from a standpoint, like, you know how Centerville is. You want to get in and you want to move. And that's one of the things they teach you in group fitness. It's like, you want to get people in and moving as quickly as possible. Like, as you move, you talk through the mm-hmm. different components of what you're doing and stuff like that. But you want to get people moving. Like, all this, like, I was getting the whole lay down. Like, the, it was... Yeah, she was like, no. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> like, they don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. But, um, <laughs> so after that class, I was just like, holy crap. So soon thereafter, so I did part of class with him. And then after that, it was just like, you got Thursday morning. I was thinking he was going to be there. He didn't make it. So I was all on my own. I was like, oh, crap. This is crazy. And, and like, it, it's just... It's certain things, and I guess coming in um, after someone, again, so popular, it's hard to find your own voice because there are things about him that people really liked and admired. So you come in and like, I just took into account that stuff and just tried to, you know, just bring in different aspects that was him, but not necessarily me, mm-hmm. you know? And um, a friend of mine, Yvonne, she would always tell me like after class and she been she was telling me this for weeks. <laughs> she was like, just do you, just do you. Like she just constantly telling, and she was like, I see it coming. I see it coming. Like, just do you, just do you. And just a bit, just one day something just clicked. And it was like, yeah, this is it. This is me, you know? So it was like, I was rocking it out in the cycle studio. 
and I taught City of Cycle <clears throat> maybe about a year. And um, which Studio Cycle at Lifetime is pretty much whatever you come up with in terms of the ride, however you want to challenge the members and you like create it to your own. And then it came to a time where they want to bring in Amp Cycle. And everybody know, nobody likes change. Change sucks, especially you on a bike, I'm here, I just want to ride my bike, that's it. <laughs> but Lifetime, you know, with time, again, change happens. It's time for us to evolve, so. yeah. They wanted to do AMP, which is um, kind of like Soul Cycle. Um, I forget the other kind of names that they have now, but it's basically a dance on a bike, some kind of rhythmic ride on a bike. They weren't feeling that at Centerville. Like Centerville has a, uh, I, it's just a more senior kind of environment. Not to say we don't have younger people there, but it's more of a traditional type of crowd that comes out. And again, we just want to ride our bike. <laughs> Straightforward. Right. Yeah. So to come in and I think Sam was my manager. She was like, she, you could do this. Like you, you're the only one that I got that can really sell this amp. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'll see how. <laughs> But man, I worked with them. I was like, okay, guys, I just need you to work with me. And it's okay. You don't have to do it. I mean, if you do want to do it, do it. Try it out. Mm -hmm. And again, all we're doing is just having fun. That's it. That's all you regard. Just have fun. Mm -hmm. You know? And so I did. And we got Amp going 530 in the morning. And it was just, it was awesome. You know, once they got into it. I mean, it, it got to a point where my room was completely separated. Like, I was, everybody on my right did amp. Everybody on the left, just traditional kind of ride kind of thing. But they just did their own thing, which was fine. It, it worked out great. We still had a blast with it. But it was just so funny mm -hmm. that, um, again, they just fought that class to the to the T because they just didn't like it. And um, so during that time, I taught amp. And I was doing yoga classes and one of um, Amy, she was one of, one of my favorites. She was about to do her um, first YTT. And I was like, she asked me, she was like, so you wanna take my YTT thing, you know, yoga teacher training? And I was just like, oh, okay, I'll give it a shot. So um, that's where I ended up getting my certification from YTT. And that was, that was a very, interesting experience in the sense that yoga I feel it really feel like if you listen and understand aspects of yoga that is a practice that really helps you connect to self even more mm -hmm. you know it, it takes you to a place where you begin to identify different triggers of self mm -hmm. you know why you feel this way and um, why you respond to certain things the way you respond to and it and I guess I'm speaking for myself in a sense that it helps you to see the world in a different way. Okay. I feel like just for my own growth, I feel like judgment comes from areas where people don't necessarily recognize or doesn't like something in self. Like once you start to realize that this is something that exists in self and you don't like it, that's why you point it out in others. We can only see what we know, you know? And it, it, everybody shares something. Everybody got something going on in their life. And it's like, nobody's life is perfect, no matter how much of the false reality they put out there in terms of Instagram, Facebook, and stuff like that. A picture, they say sells, tells us a thousand words or however way they put it but you don't know the truth behind the eyes That's you know true. what i mean yeah so it's just something you take with a grain of salt and once i start seeing people as they are and not as who i expect them to be that's what makes them more accepting to me okay. you know what i mean because again we are who we are and that's something that i i did get from my own yoga practice and just studying through that and I really enjoyed it, you know? So it was kind of funny to go from cycle where we all like, ah. Yes. <laughs> and, then, and then the yoga. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was such a crazy economy, right? And just to have, and by the way, I, I, I guess I've never told you this, but you were one of the main reasons why I 
I, I got my yoga certification as well, but I got it okay. at Columbia. Okay. Um, so I did YTT there. And I was like, you know, because I had taken your classes before, right? I, I think I took one, one M class at five in the morning. I never came back again because <laughs> I was like, first of all, cardio is not for me, right? So it's too early. And third, you're tripping in there, right? <laughs> you're like a professional cyclist, right? You have to be on the road somewhere. Um, but no, nah, that was that was that was a great that was a really great experience, right? In that community and and the way you ran things there, and then to see you uh, flip that switch like that, and then start to teach yoga, right? Um, and just different. It's still you. Your personality still comes through, right? But it's just a different element, different side of it, right? right. Like you know, um, I was like, yeah, I was like, wow, that's that's amazing. So I was like, well, you know, if um, if, if she's done it, she loves it, right? Then maybe let me let me at least get the certification so I can improve my clients uh life so I improve my own practice right improve um, um things of that and potentially if it led to the teaching classes right that would that would be great so um but yeah I always thought that was that was so cool to go from uh and I don't know if you ever like if you ever thought if you ever taught uh one hour uh 5 a.m cycle and then went straight to 6 a.m uh yoga right but it's a, it's a crazy thing to um to imagine yeah, yeah, and it, and it is a hard switch because um, I think it was actually this week. I mean, it wasn't back to back. <laughs> you say that I end up teaching my. I still got my Thursday morning classes still. This many years later, still teaching Thursday morning, different style though. We're doing edge, more traditional now. Um, but anyway, so I'm doing that. So I had, of course, we like banging it out, and um, I had a. Surrender class. <laughs> and oh, like, surrender, of course, is like yin. So yeah. it's very soft and stuff like that. And it was, I think, my cycling class from 5 30 to 6 15 that morning. And then I want to say surrender started at 11 15. So right right before lunch. And I get in there and I turn the music on. And it's a very, of course, soft space, you know. Again, it's a very deep meditative practice where you um, hold poses and, you know, just again, connect to self. And at the end of class, um, I had a member to come up to me and she was like, it was a very beautiful class. She enjoyed it. But the only comment that she had was that sound, could you turn the music down? <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, I was like, it was down. But being that I, <laughs> again, I just came out of cycle. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so you, you, you're probably deaf. Right, right. <laughs> you can't you can't hear anything that she's saying. Yeah, I see that. That's probably. Oh, so that was that was funny to me, but yeah, usually I, I thought it was slow, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's funny. That's funny. It's it's, it's hard. I, I can imagine it'll be hard to 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 make that transition, especially within like back to back or even um within with with, with like an hour in between, right? Because it's such a different um different mindset right and different right. different energy that you that you bring in right um so that's that's pretty cool uh let me, let me ask you this when you when you have someone new that's come that's coming to your class um what 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 do you say to them and how do you how do you approach that person so <clears throat> each class is something a little different but <clears throat> excuse me i still keep it the same so to speak, like I would get people set up on a bike and stuff like that. And the only thing I tell them is just have fun. Like don't worry about anything I say, because um, now with Edge, it's more of a metric kind of ride. So we turn on the monitors and it keeps track of your RPMs, your wattage and all that kind of stuff. So I always tell them, don't worry about it, just have fun. And just know <laughs> that salasaurus is a real thing. So you will feel solid soreness at the end of class. It's completely normal, completely normal. So just be willing enough to try it again and see what happens. And also you don't have to stay the whole class. Maybe today we stay for five, 10 minutes. Next week we push up 15, 20 or something like that. So whatever you feel, just go for it. So that's, that's my cycle thing. When it comes to yoga, I explain to people to just don't get overwhelmed. The biggest challenge about a yoga class is just staying in the space. As long as you're comfortable enough to be in the space, 
you did a job well done. Because a lot of times I feel like, again, it's about looking at people and you compare it to self and think that you're not good enough. And that's not what yoga is. So it's, it's one of those things that as long as you're willing and able to stand this, everything else will fall into place. Um, and for my other classes, um, like barbell, I would say I recommend people starting off with the bar with five to 10 pounds on. And I just let them know that you can just keep the warm up on, the warm up weight on, and just fill it out. If you're ready to go on weight, you can, but if not, it's, it's fine. You know, I just, I want people, anytime someone new come to class, just to have them to be comfortable enough to just be in a class and try. Mm. You know, I mean, after you get comfortable enough just being in the space, being around the people and stuff like that, then we'll grow from there. But initially, it's just about being comfortable with self. Okay. And once we get comfortable with self, then everything else will fall in place. Love that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot with this one. Um, I remember one year, it was, it was your birthday. And uh, I mean, I think like... 50 people came to your class with like <laughs> balloons and and gifts and I mean it was ridiculous I was like what is this right <laughs> um but it, it was just it was such a such a like pure like outpouring of love okay um it, why do you think right and 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 keep in mind that happened other people's birthdays <laughs> <laughs> and it's not quite the same right so but so why do you think people love you and appreciate you so much? <laughs> um, you know, honestly, I don't know. I, and I, I say that not to say, like, to appreciate anything that I am. I, I, I try to live a life that is true to myself. I, and as I was mentioning before, I try to see people for who they are and I accept them for who they are. You know, it's not about um, being of a certain class, a certain look or race, anything, your background, we are who we are in this present day and time. Mm. Um, sometimes people click with you, sometimes people don't. Um, I'm always willing to meet you with open arms, like my yoga classes, that pre-COVID, regardless of how sweaty, and that's it, everybody was. I was at the door and everyone that walked past me, I gave them the biggest hug that I could, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I feel like people at the heart, they just want to be seen and want to be heard. Mm -hmm. And to surrender yourself enough to just be that person and say, I see you, I hear you, and I love you. Mm -hmm. That says a lot. Um, I don't think a lot of people hear that too often. I think that there are, there are many, many forms of love. And a lot of times being able to say that is hard for some people because of how they define love. Mm. And for me to say that I love you is simply saying that I accept you for who you are. Nothing mm. more, nothing less. We, are, we just are who we are. And I guess just because of that, that resonates with a lot of people mm. and they just gravitate to that energy that I give off. Mm. You know, I just, I don't know. I often ask that um, and I'm very fortunate, very blessed for to have the people that I have in my life, to have the support that I have. Um, and, and truth be told, sometimes it becomes very overwhelming. Mm. <laughs> and I know it's coming from a very good, generous place. Like, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. But I, I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I, that's just it's, that's me, though, in a nutshell. And I try to be mindful of that. Like, there, are there people that I just don't resonate with? Yeah. I mean, I am human. At the end of the day, are there people that don't like me? I would hope so, because again, I am human, <laughs> you know? So I feel like it's just not natural for like everybody to like you, <laughs> you know? And it's fine, it's okay, you know? If you don't have the lights on to respect them. And I do live a life where I try to respect anybody and everybody that I come across. So yeah. 
and maybe that's something that resonates with people to you know embrace me in the way that they do yes yes i i would say man um there are hundreds and thousands of group fitness instructors right personal trainers yoga instructors you know that that do that do this right and they you know they may have started they might may have started because of passion right but at some point uh that passion fizzled out and they lost touch or they don't understand what that particular hour of being present means to those people who are in front of them mm -hmm. right um and it takes a, a special type of person to be able to compartmentalize that to be able to like make each individual because fitness is 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 communal but it's also very personal people come there for for reasons that we may never know Right. It may be that, uh, you know, things at home isn't the best. It may be that, you know, uh, health isn't the best. It may be, you know, whatever. Right. We 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 don't know. Right. But to but to um, as you say, yoga to hold space. Right. For that. Uh, for that individual, you know, and have them understand, be able to step into that and be who they are for that period of time to sweat to laugh, to, you know, to, to hate you for a little bit, you know, to the, the, the struggle, right. Uh, and, and, and you, you are, you're present with them, um, every step of the way and you're, you're attentive, you're focused, right. On, on what they're doing, you're pushing them, right. Um, um, just to that very, that very edge and then bringing them back and then pushing them again. Right. And I, and they come back, right. For more, I, I, I just think that's, that's really a beautiful thing. That's, that's why, um, that's why I do what I do, right? Um, and that's why I uh, I enjoy having some types of types of conversations because I think that besides the the physical benefits that people get, right? There's so much spiritual, so much emotional, and so much uh, uh, mental benefits, right? And to have that community behind you, right? Um, um, I think I saw actually during COVID, I think I saw. Vince and a few other people out there in the parking lot, <laughs> you know, doing, doing, doing some kind of workout. Right? It's yeah. just, it's just amazing, right? It's amazing to, to people who just refuse, and and it's that is that spirit that I think uh, makes Centerville so will always be special to me, right? Um, because that's really where it all began for me, and I like I loved it. But then um, meeting people like you, like him, who also loved it. All right, and and help feel that energy and feel that spice, right? So it, 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 I I just think it's amazing that after all this time, right? Say so you've been doing it for seven years. Um, all this time you still you still are consistent with that Thursday at five a.m. God bless you for that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday at five a.m. Woo, yeah. yeah. Um, but I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, and 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 like you bring up a good point. Like the members there, I I don't know it. They are, I would say anybody coming into Centerville, it's hard to come into Centerville new because like I say, they are used to what they have and they don't like change. But when they start to give you a chance, like they are the most loving individuals that you will ever come across and faithful and just, we're here for you. We got your back. Like, Whatever you want to do, we'll do it. We're 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 in it. Like they they go hard. Centerville goes hard, and it's good to see people that you can motivate, and they're willing to at least try. Mm -hmm. You know, we might not get it, but we're gonna try. We're gonna go for it. You know, and yeah. it, that that crew and just how they they welcome people into the space. Like again, it. People just don't realize, like, they ask me all the time, how do you get up and go to the gym at five in the morning? And I'm like, you don't realize how much energy is in that space at mm -hmm. five in the morning. Like, it's just, it's unheard of. Like, the way people come in and, you know, and of course, me as an instructor, I have to, you know, kick it off and stuff, but there's only so much I can do, right. <laughs> you know? Right. Like it's it's a community kind of thing. Like people say it's you she and I'm like, no, it's us. <laughs> it's not just me. Yeah. 
<laughs> and it, it, it's like we we all inspire each other. They they they're the ones to keep me doing what I'm doing, and I I hate that um, corporate America come into that space sometimes. You know, from an aspect that I feel like we had and lost some great individuals because of it. You know, I, I feel like sometimes when I say that they focus too much on the bottom line, which I, I understand and it's very important, but as well as treating your people right and fairly, like I feel like the bottom line is gonna work its way out. You know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like sometimes they lose sight of that. And I, I have had moments of swaying like, I'm ready, <laughs> yeah. which is it, it's unfortunate because you just uh, like they're 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 my family, you know. Like like I said, I'm from originally from Alabama, and um, of course my mom and dad still lives there. I have a brother um, close by in Virginia, and then another in North Carolina. But people that I pretty much see every day. You know, we all come together. We, like you said, we celebrate birthdays. Sometimes we have a happy hour. Sometimes we get races together. Like, they're my family. And to walk away from that, it's just, it's hard to do, you know? So it's one of those things that they keep on keeping on. And I'm like, all right, guys, yeah. if you're with me, I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool, man. That's, oh, that's, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's definitely a, a great community. <laughs> That's awesome, awesome. Ashi, thank you so much uh, for for joining me and doing this with me. Uh, yeah. Do you want to share your your IG or any any social media? Oh, um, IG, you can find me Nights eighteen. Um, and Facebook is same thing. Nights eight. No, is she that? Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> if Facebook is she that? <laughs> it's a D E D. Um, and then ED, but yeah, I'm on Instagram, but I'm, I'm not that much of a poster kind of thing, just because I, um, occasionally I'll send something out, but I, I really, I try to find time for self a lot and not get too caught up into the, the, the world of social media that it's much. Crazy. Yeah, because it, it, it can can become overwhelming. And again, I, I it's all about my mindset and my space. So it, it's one of those things that a lot of times if social media take you to a place that you want to be, you have to step away from it. So I'm very cognizant of that. So please forgive me if I don't be like, man, he hasn't posted in like six months. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> and it's like, I just, I try to, like I always say, you should post something about your classes or post something about your personal workouts or do this. But again, it, it's because I feel like I'm so, the way I am um, embraced, I'll put it that way. A lot of times I just, I like to have something for me. <laughs> yeah. If that's fair, um, fair to say, kind of thing. So, but yeah, but yeah, feel free to call me like man. the scene. A queen can um, make moves, a king can. Um, Snatch you up, now you take it. Like, Give oh. you bricks, now oh. you build it. They were doing it. They were doing it. They were doing it. All love, you for getting all about us. About us, oh. My Jolie, oh, my Jolie. Where are you? When I need you the 